Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about object functions in PHP. An object function is basically just a function that we can define inside of a class, and then the different objects of that class can use that function. So um, these are super useful, and a lot of times we're going to want to create a bunch of these little object functions that will either tell us information about the current object or modify the current object or do something like that. So I'm gonna explain exactly what these are, exactly what they do and how we can use them. So over here, I created a student class. So this is basically a class that I created and it's essentially just modeling a student in my program. And I'm basically saying that every student has a name, a major and a GPA. So it's pretty simple. Um, and then down here, I have my constructor function. So I'm able to pass in the name, the major and the GPA. And then down here, I assign the name that gets passed in equal to the name of the actual object. So then here down below this class, I created a couple students. So I have a variable called student one and it's storing a student object whose name is Jim. He's a business major and he has a 2.8 GPA. And then down here we have student two, her name is Pam. She's an art major and she has a GPA of 3.6. So these are the two students that we can work with in our program. So, so far, hopefully this stuff makes sense, right? This is essentially what we talked about in the last couple lessons. But in this tutorial, I wanna show you guys how we can make object functions. And like I said, an object function is basically just a function that each of these objects could use in order to like do specific tasks or find out different information. So what I want to do is I want to write a function which is going to tell me whether or not the current student is on the honor roll. So let's say that we're writing a program for like a college or a university and we want to be able to easily figure out whether or not a particular student is on the honor roll. Right. And let's say that the rules for the honor roll is like you need a 3.5 or above. What I could do is I could actually create an object function up here inside of this class. And that function will be able to tell me whether or not the particular student has honors. So let's go ahead and do that. And hopefully as we go through, you'll kind of see what we're doing. So down here below this constructor, I'm going to create a function and I can create this just like I would create any other function. I'm just going to say function and then I'm going to give it a name. So I'm basically going to call this has honors. And this function is going to return a true or a false value. So if the student has honors, then it's going to return true. If the student doesn't have honors, then it's going to return false. So I'm actually going to go ahead and start writing this function. So like I said, the rules for honors is going to be if you have a GPA of 3.5 or above, then we're going to say you have honors. But if you have a GPA lower than 3.5, then you're not going to have honors. So you're not going to be on the honor roll. So what I could do is I could just create like a simple if statement. So I could say if, and I basically just want to check to see if the object that's calling this function has honors or not. So what I can do is I can come up here into these parentheses and I want to check to see if the student's GPA is greater than or equal to 3.5. And the way that I can access the current student's GPA is just by saying dollar sign this hyphen greater than sign and then the name of the attribute. So it's going to be GPA and I want to check to see if it's greater than or equal to 3.5. If it is greater than or equal to 3.5, then down here we can just return true. If it's not though, down here we'll just return false. So this is actually going to return a true or a false value. Now, here's the thing. Whenever we're printing out true or false values, um, PHP isn't actually going to be able to print out false and it's not going to be able to print out true either. So instead of passing Booleans back here, I'm actually just going to pass a string back true and a string back false. But just know that you most likely you'd want to be passing back Booleans for the purposes of this tutorial, though, I'm just going to pass back these strings. So it's a little bit easier for us to see what's going on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and you'll see I can actually use this new function that we created on both of these objects. So I could, for example, echo out and I could say student one hyphen greater than sign has honors. And what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and it's going to call that has honors function for student one. So when I come over here and I refresh my page and actually looks like I forgot to put a semicolon over here. Sorry about that. So now when I refresh the page, this should say false. 
And the reason it says false is because student one has a GPA of 2.8, right? Jim's GPA is a 2.8, so it's not 3.5 or greater, and therefore Jim is going to not have honors. If I came down here then and I changed this to student two, so now this is gonna be Pam, Pam is gonna have honors, so this should give us back true. And you can see over here, we're getting true. And that's because Pam's GPA is 3.6, which means it's above 3.5. So let's go back over to this function and I wanna explain it a little bit more. You'll notice that I wrote this function one time and I was able to use it on the Pam object and I was also able to use it on the gym object. And that's one of the cool things about these object functions is I can write the function one time and then all of the instances of the student class can use it. So every student object can use this has honors function in order to figure out whether or not they have honors. And here's the thing, you'll notice that when Jim called this has honors function, we used Jim's GPA in order to figure out whether or not he had honors. When Pam called the has honors function, we used Pam's GPA 3.6 in order to figure out whether or not Pam had honors. And this is actually really significant. So when I call this function on the Pam object, over here, when I say this arrow GPA, that means that we're gonna use Pam's GPA. When I call the has honors function on the gym object, again, this is gonna go ahead and use Jim's GPA. So by saying dollar sign this um, GPA, this is always gonna refer to the GPA of the object that's calling the function. And that's why these are so powerful. So a lot of times what people will do is they'll create like a bunch of these little functions inside of their class. And you can see like this has honors function comes in handy a lot, right? Because this is essentially specifying the qualifications for honors, right? So if I wanted, I could make the qualifications for honors be a 2.5. And now technically Jim's gonna qualify for honors or I could make it a, you know, 4.5 or a 4.0 or something like that. But in addition to a has honors function, I mean, I'm sure we could think of a bunch of other functions that we might wanna use on a particular student, but hopefully that makes sense. And really what you wanna do is whenever you create a class in PHP, you always wanna think about what are the different functions, the different object functions that you can include inside of that class. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.